now book book em book em book em book who the hell told your ass to go out there and get a goddamn metro pet what would it petro gas station motherfucking security job boy <laughs> Now you you tell you go tell me that they didn't hire your ass to guard the pumps. <laughs> I can't do you, book. Something is wrong, boy. Something is wrong. Some book. Please tell one papoose that you is not security guarding. The motherfucking pumps out there. The pumps, nigga. The gas pumps. Please tell me that you uh, ain't working in the hood. <laughs> you, can't, you can't take the nigga up out the hood and you can't take the hood up out the nigga. <laughs> Use a <the> hood, nigga. <laughs> Use a hood security guard, nigga. <laughs> I ain't no I don't know about you, nigga, but your ass need on about four bulletproof vests out there, nigga. Shit, them motherfuckers out there at the petrol gas station. They ain't gonna blast your ass. Now, let me say, <laughs> woo, you cracks me up. Now, tell me this. You really know the difference between a GD and a DG. Because <laughs> I think you I think you interviewed a GD, a gay nigga. <laughs> nigga, the boy stood out there. You seriously did an interview on a guy who is torn into what he wants to believe about Mr. Robert Spencer Kelly. You know, your mentor, right? Your mentor, boy, your mentor. Your mentor. The me, boy, I don't even... Uh, uh, I'm lost for words on this one. I am totally lost for words on this one, nigga. Your shit, your life just don't get no better, do it, nigga. They got you suited up and booted up. Who we went? Who you gonna? Who you gonna? Who you gonna arrest, book? The nigga that stole two dollars on Pump Seven. <laughs> you gonna? Jump. You gonna jump in your car and go chase that motherfucker down, ain't you, book? You are under arrest. <laughs> Nigga, ain't no goddamn benefit packet worth that shit. <laughs> Come back here, nigga. Come back here, nigga. You the motherfucker take off all you stealing two dollars worth of gas. In your, ass. <laughs> your ass ain't going nowhere. What they got you out there with, book? Motherfucking flashlight. I see you. <laughs> Book him. Boy, you just can't do no better, huh? I bet you took that motherfucker job because they ass got Scooby Snacks up in that bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, break time. Time for your Scooby Snack. <laughs> oh, I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to kill myself, nigga. Is you out there working for Petro? Them motherfucking, uh, um, what you call them damn people? Um, um, the, the Arabs. <laughs> you done took a motherfucking flunky job with a goddamn flashlight talking about some, I see you nigga. You better pay for that gas. Is you out there breaking up fights nigga? What the fuck? is your criteria what is your jobs descriptions what do they expect of you to do out at petro metro <laughs> one thing the motherfuckers did right though book they got your ass standing outside making sure if somebody take off that your ass go chase after them they go get some motherfucking exercise out your motherfucking ass tonight <laughs> Book, if I was you, I put in my two weeks motherfucking resignation. Cause that motherfucking job 
ain't even paying you enough to make your child support and your rent, nigga. You is in a serious struggle for the buggle. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't even know what else to say, book, because I can't even fucking stop laughing. That's some hilarious shit. Your motherfucking ass is out there suited up and booted up like you finna go to World War II. <laughs> Somebody help me. Help me, help me, help me, boy. Help me. They got your ass suited up. Nigga, they ain't even got to call 911 for your ass, nigga. They just, just press the nine. <laughs> you answer, you out there answering to the calls that, that call in on the number nine, nigga. You ain't even worth the 911. We gonna just throw the whole two ones away. We just gonna keep the nines, nigga. On the way chasing the nigga, your ass look like you ready to stop at the first chicken shack on the way. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. I ain't hating on your job, book up. I ain't hating on your job. But you got to knock off that fake it till you make it. Now, you trying to make it, but that fake shit, you got that shit all fucked up. You could fake it a whole lot better than that, nigga. I would have goddamn been walking around security at Sony, some motherfucker. Well, what a benefit package is just well. You know how they sit behind that desk, got that big ass switchboard and shit going on. Got about 30 floors and shit to a... Uh, no, not you. Cause your ass ain't gonna even make it up to the fifth floor on the burglary and have motherfucking apartment be empty. <laughs> I'm about to tell you, come down, nigga. And don't try to play that shit off like you just stopped over there to get some petrol, nigga. Don't even try. Don't even try. Your ass is out there on the clock till what? About six in the morning. Then you go skip your bath and jump your motherfucking ass right on live to tell some more bullshit, boy. Boy, you got, boy, you got to do better when you coming on this live. Because like I told you, if I have a problem, I got a motherfucking problem. And you flossing like that and out there walking back and forth, back and forth. Them niggas done hired you a pace job, nigga. You back and forth. Back. Ain't no motherfucking action, boy. But let me tell you about the GDs and the DGs. <laughs> you is fucking... You interview a GD, Nick. <laughs> Gay dude. <laughs> Out there telling you his story about the uh, alleged pedophilia of your goddamn dude. Then you out there seriously, nigga? Who stoops that low to go out there at your age to want to go and investigate if somebody know somebody else? Who? Why they do that shit? That book of I forgot over there in that goddamn gay, gay Georgia. <laughs> hey, hey, you know Ronald McDonald? You know, that nigga with that red hair. Yeah. I heard he was so like GD. What, what you know about him? Yeah, because they run them niggas over across, over, you know, he can't come over across the street where that motherfucking McDonald's at and get that motherfucking hamburger over there. <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go. Book I The struggle is real. The struggle is real. It's real out here. It's real. I don't know what financial situation you dodging, but I know one or the other, you ain't trying to pay them motherfuckers, boy. It's got to be the rent or it's got to be that child support. I don't know which one you trying to get out of. I got my little hunch, though. Might be the child support. Because, see, now you can take the judge back down your little paperwork where you going to show him your honor. This is all that I'm making, $325 a week, and I got to get my rent paid because I got to keep my roof over. So then the judge can only order your ass a $30 just <laughs> <Jim's> child <laughs> supplemental payment. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Take the wheel. Take the wheel. Keep it coming, book them. Keep, keep them coming. Keep, you just keep them coming because you keep pap cracking the fuck up over here 
I gots to go. You have yourself a good night out there on the popo stroll. I get it, nigga. But ain't nobody finna come through there and, and, and steal no $2 worth of petrol. I think it might be almost time. With tw yeah, almost time for your break time. You head on inside. Get your little Scooby snack from the A-Rab on the house. Bye.